Hi guys, you are welcome to another video. Let's find for the value of x which satisfies this equation. So we have solution. Let's write this question as 256 raised to the power of x equals minus x. Now, using the property of indices, for instance, we have something like a raised to the power of n equals b. We can say that 1 is equals to a raised to the power of minus n multiplied by b. Do you get it now? So that's what we are going to use here. So it's going to be 1 equals 256 minus x multiplied by minus x. So the next step now, recalling this property that for instance, we have the natural log of a with the base e. We said this is equal to a. So, either of the two, they are equal to each other, right? So, therefore, we are now going to rewrite this in this form. By saying, we have the natural log of 256 raised to the power minus x with the base e multiplied by minus x. So, now, using the law of indices, uh, law of logarithm, rather, if we have the natural log of a raised to the power of n, this is equal to n, the natural log of a. So here we are going to have 1 is equals to minus x, the natural log of 256, base e, multiplied by, here we have minus x. Now, multiplying both sides by the natural log of 256. So we have 1 multiplied by the natural log of 256 is equals to, here we have minus x, the natural log of 256, base e, and we have multiplied by minus s multiplied by the natural log of 256. So here now, let's also write it as the natural log of 256 equals e raised to the power minus x, the natural log of 256 multiplied by minus x, the natural log of 256 into brackets. Now, let's recall the property of W Lambert function. This property says that, for instance, you have the W Lambert function of E raised to the power of A multiplied by A. This is equals to A. Now, if you look at this on our right hand side, it is similar to this, right? So, we'll just take the W Lambert function of both sides. Therefore, we have the W Lambert function of the natural log of 256 is equals to the W Lambert function of e raised to the power minus x, the natural log of 256, multiplied by minus x, the natural log of 256. So, so the value for our right-hand side is minus x, the natural log of 256. So our left-hand side, we are going to have W level function of the natural log of, we can write 256 as 4 raised to the power of 4, right? So we we'll just write the natural log of 4 raised to the power of 4. So we are going to have the W Lambert function of applying the power rule of logarithm that we said the other time. For the natural log of 4, right, is equal to minus x, the natural log of 256. Now, we can rewrite this 4 as the natural log of 4 with the base e. The other time, don't forget, we said this, multiplied by the natural log of 4 is equal to minus x, the natural log of 256. And when we apply the rule of W Lambert function, we said the value of this is going to be the natural log of 4 equals minus x, the natural log of 256. So dividing both sides by 256, uh, the natural log of 256, rather. So this cancel out each other. Don't forget, sorry, don't forget 256 is the same thing as 4 is the power of 4. So we just write 4 the natural log of 4 is equals to minus x. So we are going to have the natural log of 4 cancel out the natural log of 4. So we are left with 1 over 4 equals minus x. Now multiplying both sides by minus sign, we are going to have x equals to minus 1 over 4, which is our final answer. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.